It is a historic moment. The startup Mojo reached a milestone in June, demonstrating its augmented reality contact lens in action. Mojo CEO Drew Perkins wore the prototype on his eye. He loves the $6 million man. We have the technology. He always is talking about it. And so this idea that we could give people superpowers. Everybody has seen AR contact lenses in the movies. They've read about them in science fiction. And so everyone thinks of this as a technology that's you know, 10, 20, 30 years away. But it really isn't. And here it is, the smallest dentist micro LED screen in the world, less than half a millimeter in size, about the size of a grain of sand. I'm going to take a look. As it's still undergoing clinical testing, I'm not allowed to wear it, but I can peer inside. It takes me just a few minutes to figure out how to use the eye tracking to navigate the interface. By holding my stare briefly at various points, I look at slideshows and even use a teleprompter app to scroll through Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. And dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Your eye is the fastest part of your body, um, and it's the best pointing device you could possibly have, better than your fingers to point at things. And so if you can get the fidelity of the eye tracking, like we have, um, as good as, as, as necessary with the precision you need, you can easily interact with elements on the screen. This is how it looks when the augmented reality information is overlaid on the real world. Mojo is already working with many sports and fitness apps, providing wearers real-time information to help them improve their games and workouts. To succeed, this microtech will need to prove it's better than smart glasses. Why am I going to wear this in my eye when I can get a pair of glasses and not have to worry about sticking that on my eye? So that's one valid question about, you know, like applications for this. But I also think that the that what the company is looking at is is stuff like assistive technology. Could it help with people who have uh, vision issues? If you weren't able to move at all, if effectively you were paralyzed, just able to move your eyes. We're delivering something we call invisible computing. It's this idea that I can get the right information at the right time on my eye discreetly and then have the tech disappear when I don't need it. So I can look like myself. The process of making it a natural fit happens right at Mojo's Silicon Valley headquarters where the lenses are actually cut. When anyone will be allowed to wear one depends on successful clinical trials, though Mojo believes that day is just a few years away. Mark New, CGTN, Saratoga, California.